Tariki is representative of the Māori New Year, but also um, something that was key as part of seasonal, recognising um, the change in seasons uh, and also uh, recognised in different regions of it sometimes being at different times. But it is unique um, uh, to New Zealand. It is something that's unique about our place in the world. And so it's a real chance for us to not only mark that in our own calendar, but to showcase that internationally as well. Um, I had it described to me um, by an expert in Matariki as a, as a chance to uh, reflect on all that has happened, um, to celebrate our present and to plan for our future. And I can't think of something better that we would need right now than a holiday to do all of those things in the midst of these troubled times. Now, some of um, our team have uh, thought about it and think it's a great idea. The issue is, of course, is that it's another public holiday that employers have to pay for unless we had all decided it was going to be one of those ones that, that doesn't end up costing people um, money. I just think people need to realise too is that as we look at anything where there's extra cost, particularly on small businesses, that that can be maybe not the Matariki day but just this constant adding on to cost is actually having a huge effect on um, the attitudes of people in small business in particular. Now's not the time when we are in the throws up huge financial challenges to start thinking about a holiday. I'm sorry, work is going to be our way out of it, working smarter and working more clever than we did in the past, but it's not leisure and holiday time. This is something that we have really carefully weighed up, uh, and in weighing that up, our view is that it's um, a holiday whose time has come, but equally in the midst of COVID, our view is that the best time to start that would be in 2022.